Hello, welcome to Curry TV. On this episode, we are going to be making Kerala style egg roast. Now, this is not a typical egg roast. This is actually made with duck eggs. So let's take a look at all the ingredients that we'll be using. I'm going to be using with uh, cooking with coconut oil, mustard, coriander powder, red chili powder, turmeric powder. This is fresh coconut milk, green chilies. That's according to your spice level. Since I'm adding red chili powder and um, green chilies, I'll be a just subsidizing one or the other ginger garlic tomato and of course onion now i'll be using few leaves of curry leaves and salt to taste so let's get this cooking started on a medium skillet okay the flame is on medium high i'm going to pour in a few spoonful of coconut oil That's five spoonful, and mine is a small spoon, so once that's well heated, we'll add in our spices. So our oil is well he heated. So I'm gonna be using one small spoonful of mustard. Now, you guys were asking what my spoon sizes are. Look at this. This is our regular spoon, this is our dessert spoon. So I typically use my dessert spoon, because. Um, we sometimes some of our dishes are made spicy like one of these and the other ones are when i'm making spicier ones i use this one and this is the small one for our mustard fenugreek that kind of stuff just a small spoonful let that splutter okay now first goes in our ginger so that's one and a half spoonful of ginger and two full spoon of garlic. Now that needs to be sauteed very well. I wanted to change color so saute very well and I've lowered my flames to medium. It smells great here. That ginger garlic has sauteed well. So in goes our green chilies. Now this is about five green chilies. It's not so spicy, it's not the Thai one. This is a regular green chili that we get here. To that goes in our one large red onion, thinly sliced along with few leaves of curry leaves. Now the special effects that gives to this egg roast is the onion. So the more the merrier. Now we are going to crank up our heat. Okay, our onion has sauteed very well. It's become translucent. So this is perfect. Now the onion is the one that adds the thickness to the gravy. So if you like nice thick gravy, uh, please add more. I'm going to lower my flame to medium low, very low. In goes our coriander powder. Now this is the small spoon that I'm using. So coriander powder is two heap spoon. This is the spicy red chili powder. You could use Kashmiri chili, chili powder, which is milder. This is the red chili powder spicy. That's too sweet. And our turmeric powder. That's just quarter teaspoon. So let's give it a good mix. We want that raw taste of the spices to be gone so we're going to saute it very well with this onion and onion um, garlic ginger green chilies and curry leaves and that coconut oil you could add more green chilies if you wish to and reduce the red chili powder that would also be fine 
and saute very well. Once you start seeing the oil come out, that's when you can tell that like this. See, this is ready to add our next ingredient, which is aroma sized tomato, thinly sliced. I want my tomatoes mashed well with that gravy. Let's saute it very well. Let's add salt. Now salt is according to your taste. Give it a good mix. Okay, now we are going to cover this and cook for five to six minutes. Let that tomato and onion, everything merge well. So I'm going to crank up my heat to medium. Cook this covered for five to six minutes. Okay, it's been about four to five minutes. I'm going to check back in on our gravy. This is perfect. I like a little bit of coconut milk. This is second pass of coconut milk, which is half cup that I'm going to be pouring in. Let's give it a good mix. This is perfect with chapati, appam or idiyappam. The spring hoppers is perfect with those. Okay, at this stage, check your salt level. If you need to add more, add now. You could add potato to this recipe. Okay, add in our duck eggs. I'm using eight duck eggs now. Let's give it a good mix. Coat all that gravy with the eggs. If you want more um, gravy, you could add stock or you could add um, water. That's also fine. Even if you don't have the stock, you could still make this. So to this, I'm going to add quarter cup of water so that that gravy is kind of nice and not thick, but semi thick. I'm going to be serving this with um, chapati for tonight. Let this simmer for another three minutes or so. Let that egg absorb all that flavor in. Okay, this is perfect. Turn off the stove and we can serve it. There you have it. This is our easy duck egg roast. Please give it a try. I hope to hear from you guys. Please comment below. This is perfect combination to serve with chapati, bread, appam, idiyappam, any of those sort. And I will be showing you how to make one of those in this coming days. So stay tuned for more videos on Curry TV. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. See you next time.